Yeah, I spent the weekend uh, talking to uh, leaders across Europe, and uh, I think the world is largely united in recognizing that the steps Russia has taken uh, are a violation of Ukraine's sovereignty, uh, uh, Ukraine's territorial integrity, that they're a violation of international law. Uh, what cannot be done is for Russia, with impunity, to uh, put its soldiers on the ground and uh, violate basic principles that uh, are recognized around the world. And uh, I think the strong condemnation that it's received from countries around the world indicates uh, the degree to which Russia's on the wrong side of history on this. If, in fact, they continue on the current trajectory that they're on, uh, that we are examining a whole series of steps, economic, diplomatic, that will isolate Russia uh, and will have a negative impact on uh, Russia's economy and uh, its uh, status in the world. Uh, I've heard a lot of talk from Congress about what should be done, what they want to do. Uh, one thing they can do right away is to work with the administration uh, to help provide a package of assistance to the Ukrainians, uh, to the people and that government. Uh, and uh, when they get back in, uh, uh, assuming the weather clears, uh, I would hope that that would be the first order of business.